right. Uh, so I got a call today from the boat mechanic and uh, saying the boat was ready. Although he didn't have the invoice yet, he said I could go and pick it up, uh, pay him later. Uh, pretty nice guy. See if I can get that shot. Sorry for taking a shot of the dirty water. This is Cayuga Inlet. Um, anyway, he fixed a couple things with uh, with the engine uh, that I wanted to have done, but also didn't really want to. I uh, have to wait. It's been 12 days since I've been able to get the boat in the water, since I, since you're allowed to put the boat in the water, and I just uh, was really, really hoping for, so I spent all winter long wanting to get it in there May 1st, uh, which is when you're allowed, uh, but uh, decided to be the more responsible boat owner and get uh, some things fixed, um, but it just took a little while. So now that it's fixed, he called me up, said come and uh, come and get the boat you can put it in the water I'll have the invoice for you later and uh, it's a five o'clock on a Friday afternoon everybody is eager to go home and uh, I'm gonna be hauling a boat basically right through downtown because I got to fill it up with gas uh, I do that at a gas station instead of the the marina because it's a couple bucks more at the marina um, so, anyway, heading up and uh, pretty excited. Alright, I think we're coming up on it. And we are. Uh, traffic looks light right now, which is good. Honestly, I'm nervous about driving the boat around at 5 o'clock when there's like the most traffic. Um, People are just going to have to deal with it, I guess, because I'm excited and I probably should wait for the morning or some low traffic hours, but I want my boat so damn bad I can barely contain myself. Well, let's see what we got here. Ooh, that reflection sucks. Let's see where he put it. He's probably still out here working. Yeah, he is. I'm going to turn my camera off because that's weird. All right. Uh, so I just talked to Mike, he, he gave me an update, sorry, it feels weird to, um, feels weird to, like, be on my phone, uh, I want to capture this stuff, but I, it feels weird, um, but anyway, uh, Mike, he's a good guy, I kind of, part of me wanted to get him on camera, you know, because he's like a leathery skin, um, you know, sailor type, been around boats his whole life, um, and uh, I like them a lot. Uh, so now I'm just uh, backing up to to get my boat. There it is, coming into view all nice like. Um, I'm gonna have to hop out soon and and put the uh, hitch hitch in, whatever the the tow hook or whatever the heck. Um, so I, I usually bust a, bust a knuckle or something here. Here she is, looking good. I gotta pop open the back here. Let's see if I can't find it. I don't think I've touched anything back here since. Um, that garbage probably should have cleaned up. I don't think I touched anything back here since the last time. Um, here we go. This is Gemma's little fishing pole. Alright. I need the pin. Beautiful. Alright, so I got the hitch on. Very helpful note. Boat drain plug installed before launch. Yeah, that's a good reminder. We'll come over here and lower down the trailer a little bit. All right, I'm gonna fix that by driving the car. All right, so here we go. 
hopefully that comes out okay for you guys. Everything's kind of a little bit more of a pain in the ass when you're having to film. So you gotta get it just... Cut the wheel a little to the right. Oh, gonna overshot it there. Straighten the wheel out, pull it forward. Check the camera by putting it in reverse and no. Alright, damn it. A little bit more. Alright, let's go check it out. Mm. That worked. Not really, I should really go forward a couple. So, one of the sort of awkward things. Oh, my hands in the way and everything. Well, one of the sort of awkward things is having everybody witness you have to go back and forth like you don't know what you're doing. Even though I've done this a bunch, still somehow uh, I get a little bashful or something. Holy shit, look how bad I've messed this up. All right, great, so now that Mike has seen me go back and forth three or four times to get the ball lined up, I'm thinking I got it. Yep, that's a looking good. All right, let's drop this sucker. It's a little, a little crazy having a 5,000 ton boat to throw it right over your head. There it goes. I need to get a little pop. Oh, I like a glove. I'm gonna screw this thing all the way back until it lifts off the ground. Pull the handle. Don't let me. There we go. Turn it sideways, lock it down. Maybe I'm going to do all this stuff without the camera. All right, got her all hooked up. Uh, one of the trailer tail lights isn't working, uh, which is too bad. Also, one of my brakes is kind of acting up. I hear it grinding. I knew about this beforehand, but I just really wanted the boat. Uh, my guess is I'm doing more damage to that brake. Now here I'm gonna hop out in front of uh, 5 p.m. traffic with a 5,000 5, pound boat. I think I just dropped in a ditch a little bit, but whatever, we're gonna make it. Uh, the worst is when people start tailgating you. Like, I don't wanna go too fast, uh, you know, but people start tailgating and it's like, dude, at any minute, this boat could come flying off the trailer. You know? Uh, anyway. Um, I'm going to try and get a shot uh, coming down off the hill here. Because there's some uh, some bison. Some American shit I missed the fucking turn. Alright, I guess we're not going that way. Um, Alright, maybe I should... Oh, God. Maybe I should pay closer attention here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna the the next thing I'm nervous about it. I gotta go to the gas station, which is right sort of before you enter downtown, and uh, yeah, it's just got passed by a motorcycle. Um, going the speed limit is just, you know, I guess Friday afternoon. Who wants to sit behind some dude with a boat? Um, anyway, that's a pain because there's only like four pumps, and I take up at least two of them. Um, so, you know, but whatever. I'm gonna be spending like $300 on fuel, so I don't think the gas station minds too much, but. Uh, all right, I'll check back in, hopefully after I fuel up. All right, we made it. Got gas. Uh, it's been around 400 bucks on gas. 120 gallon tank. Now I just gotta get these, uh, straps off. Uh, I gotta make sure I get all of them off. I don't want to launch it and then 
realized I forgot one. And then um, make sure I put the drain plug in. Kind of an important part. And uh, once I do that, I'll put it in the water and try and start it up. See how it goes. Alright. Just climbed onto the boat. Yeah, I gotta replace this part right here, this windshield. I don't know, it's plexiglass. I don't know if these are real glass. I don't know, where is it? Yeah, right here. These are real glass and this is plexi. It got kind of dirty. I'll do that soon. Make sure he's got the keys for me. Oh. A little dirty. anybody's been in here since I closed it up. Get this stupid thing on that. Kind of a little bit afraid of what I'm going to find in here. spent some time here um, this is what I was a little nervous about here is the uh, let me step back a little bit Ow. here so here I'm sitting up in the v-birth and uh, behind this wall is where the bathroom is and the guy who I bought this from um, told me uh, that he never used it. But then when I went and lifted up the toilet underneath there is the, uh, like a little holding tank or whatever. And there was, there was stuff all in it. Uh, and I didn't winterize that. Um, so I was a little nervous that bad things would happen. This is the back of the control panel. I've got a lot of work to do here. We'll get to that later, here's the shower. None of this stuff works. I mean, it works, but I, I haven't set it all up. The water pump and, and things like that. Um, over here is uh, underneath um, the cockpit, just storage. And uh, here's the, the sink. Uh, again, there's the switch for the, for the pump that's not working. There's a fridge here also not working um, I got to re completely replace it um, here's the stove it's a uh, uh, electric stove when you're hooked up to shore power uh, you can use this how you get lifted up and uh, that's an uh, alcohol alcohol burning stove uh, for when you don't want to waste your battery um, that's the v-birth up there you can pop that window open and Take a look at the world. Anyway, all pretty, all pretty dirty stuff. Uh, this table lifts up. It's not a very good angle. I, I've got it as a bed right now because that's where uh, uh, Karina was sleeping. But this part lifts up uh, into a table, and then those are just the chairs here and the chair there. It's the heater I got to take out of there. She was. It's probably October, November when she was using it. Um, anyway, over here is the, um, power panel, or whatever you want to call it, um, for onshore hookup, for breaker panel or something. Um, 
anyway i'm gonna finish getting things ready first time in the boat and uh and it looks okay come out onto the deck here gotta definitely clean some things up it's the back little swim kind of area not really the swim platform this bench sticks up you got legs for it that go underneath the swim platform is kind of more back here Ladder that drops down. Alright, I'm gonna finish getting her ready. up this thing here's the old engine I gotta come over here to the battery selector which is down here <clears throat> switch that to all so we have all the uh, battery power helping to start the engine uh, it's the filter we connected. We, the fucking mechanic did. That, that's your basic engine right there. Uh, it's the intake. Sometimes I have to, uh, it's the carbs right under that plate. Sometimes I've got to spray starter fluid in there. <laughs> Alright. Pop this guy on. Get the red light because the tilt. Hopefully that's it going down. Can't really see. There it goes. Lights off. Prop should be in the water. It's the bilge pump indicators on. I'll turn the blower on. That's what you're supposed to do. Come over here is the uh, auto choke. It's supposed to choke when you push it all the way forward. And put it about three quarters of the way. Let's give it a crank. Pumps of gas. Make sure it's in neutral. All right. Neutral. Put this up a little bit, and then we're gonna hit it with some starter fluid. The mechanic said he never has to do this, uh, but I do. Honestly, an explosion might help the engine start here. Uh, so anyway, loosen this top. This is... I don't think this is the, this might be the, I don't think it's the air filter, but you pop this open and you got direct access to, um, carbs right here. I uh, see, so it's closed because the auto choke, <laughs> um, I'll open that up. Okay. Hit it with a little bit of something.
I think that's like fuel injector or something. I don't really know. Um, and then I want to close it again. Let's go let it rip. Sure the gas, getting some gas. Maybe a couple more pumps for the heck of it. Let's crank it. Heard it turn over. Go give it some gas. Looks like the choke is still on. Let me turn the blower off. So it'll start revving real high here. Uh, looks like the choke is still on, which is good. out here um, I was saying before the um, the uh, the belts were squeaking and I don't know why I always need a um, to use the starter fluid when uh, when the guy doesn't But uh, just moving out of the way for this guy over here. Um, I don't. I don't know why I always need that. Uh, I don't know if I'm maybe not operating the choke properly. Um, but anyway, it started up. Uh, feels good. Uh, almost none of my instruments work except for the fuel gauge, which I guess is kind of important. Uh, so we're just leaving the, ramp, the boat ramp. I think I'm gonna take it out and see how it does. So I'm just hanging out here in the uh, sort of southern basin uh, of, of the lake. I really don't uh, go out too far, honestly, because I'm, I'm afraid that the engine is going to quit um, on me, which has happened before, and I had to swim the boat to a dock, and the person who owned the dock was a total jerk. Um, we're in probably about 300 feet of water. Uh, these lakes, the Finger Lakes, are, are really... Um, are really deep uh, glaciers and stuff. You can see here my bilge pump uh, light is on. Uh, I'll clean up the dashboard um, soon. Uh, this is the, the sort of break-in um, trip. Uh, so I haven't gotten to a bunch of stuff. 
Uh, but anyway, I, I'm also missing a, a line, uh, a dock line, um, which, which will be interesting. I'll try and get some video of me docking. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm uh, going to enjoy myself before having to go do some pickup. See ya. Right now, I'm gonna give it a shot. Thank you, though. <laughs> 